I just saw some really good footage from YouTube user Good of All 72 looking over Lake Ontario in Canada at the Toronto skyline. He's positioned on top of Mount Hamilton. Take a look at this footage and I'm going to break it down. I'm not going to talk through too much through this footage. I'm just going to break it down a little bit more what he covers. Take a look. This is the view from Mountain Face Park off of Mountain Park Road in Hamilton. Those are the Hamilton uh, steel factories. I don't know which one is Stelco, but or it used to be Stelco. And this is a view of Toronto from 30 something miles. Here's the bridge as shown in the video. He's looking over an industrial area and part of the harbor. And I would say his approximate location is here. I might be a little bit off, but let's take a look using Google's measuring distance calculator. Let's figure out the distance here approximately to the skyline but it measures out to be a little bit over 36 miles. Now again, taking a look at the Toronto skyline, let's take a look. You can even look further down beyond the skyline, down the lake of Ontario. Let's take a look how far it goes down. So here's Toronto again. And so those buildings you saw, you know, just to the right of the skyline, Coming all the way down to Scarsboro, down to this point, Port Union. So this is, you know, well beyond 40 to 50 miles that you can see. Now taking a look at the curvature chart of the supposed ball Earth, with the Toronto skyline being approximately 36 miles away, that would lead you to almost a thousand feet of curvature. Now taking a look at the height of some of the tallest buildings in Toronto. This is where things don't add up with the supposed coverage of the Earth. With the CN Tower being a little over 1,800 feet tall. Like I said, the curvature was nearly at 1,000 feet. You should only see basically top portion, top half of the CN Tower, but you see the whole thing. And of course, these buildings, you know, from, the, from that position, top of the mountain, they should be leaning and they're pointing straight up. Even though you see, like, again, you're going to see, you know, these buildings, of course, it's not beyond the supposed curvature. But, again, they're all pointing straight up, and you should see them tilting due to the curvature of the earth. Another one here, the first Canadian place. This one you shouldn't see at all for the most part. Trump International Hotel and Tower. Same thing. These should not be visible with the supposed curvature. And you see all of these, these buildings and towers. None of these should be visible at all. So people need to understand that the math doesn't lie, but people do. So again, taking a look at the skyline. Again, top portion of these buildings should be viewable for the most part. And the taller, tallest buildings, like I pointed out. But all these buildings pointing straight up again. The supposed curvature, they all should be at a slanted angle, and they're not. There's more evidence, and I'm going to play the remainder of this video, and you're going to see how flat the Earth is. And you can see past Toronto quite a ways. And the lake. Flatter than flat.
Let's go.